Hello guys, Solitaire Gamer here, and today I'll be reviewing Mobile Suit Gundam Age. This is a final Gundam review for now. There is one brand new Gundam series that recently aired a while ago, but it won't be finished until July. I'll review it in July or August, but after that, that's pretty much it. There aren't any Gundam series left. In this anime series, the UE, which stands for Unknown Enemy, attacks the space colony Angel. The UE years later attacks the space colony Ovan, which is where protagonist Flit and his mom live. As a result of the attack, Flit's mom is killed. Flit finds out that his mom left behind a blueprint for making a Gundam. Flit starts work on making a Gundam, and swears to stop the UE once and for all. That desire for stopping the UE soon turns to a desire for revenge. Gundam Age is actually one of the most hated Gundam series. Every time I see someone talk about the series, they usually talk about how bad it is. I was curious to see if it was that bad. The unique thing about this anime series, and what separates it from all the other Gundam series out there, is that this anime goes through three generations of Flit's family. First, the first arc is about Flit. Then, the second arc is about his son, Asimu. And finally, the third arc is about Flit's grandson, Kyo. We see all these characters fight together against the UE in the final arc. It was actually interesting seeing characters age over time. And seeing how they turn out in the future. I like seeing a contrast between three protagonists. They each had their own way of dealing with UE. Overall, the mysteries and the arcs were great to watch throughout the anime series. Throughout each arc, we get more and more clues on who the UE truly are, and it really makes you interested to see how the characters react to the shocking plot twists. Even though this anime is being divided into multiple arcs, the anime still did a good job by properly developing the storyline and characters during each arc. I heard criticism that the anime was rushed, but it didn't feel that way to me. There were plenty of great fight scenes, and scenes that really helped develop the world building throughout the show. There are also intense and emotional character interactions and rivalries being shown throughout the show. The fight scenes were so great to watch in this anime series because of the age system. The age system allows the Gundam parts and weapons to be replaced during battle, and led to Gundams being used in multiple cool ways. The arcs early on were actually pretty good. The character development was so good during the second arc. It was great seeing Asimu realize that he doesn't need to be special in order to become a great gun pilot. He became his own person and didn't follow in his father's shoes. The first arc involving Flit was good as well, as we see Flit struggling with the thoughts of revenge because he doesn't really want to kill people but he feels so much anger inside. It was interesting to see him go on that dark path. The one thing that kind of ruined this anime series, and the reason why people probably didn't like this anime series, was the third arc. The third arc involved Flit's grandson, Kyo. Kyo was alright as a protagonist at first. At first, he just wanted to help his grandfather. However, as he saw how horrible the war is overall, and learned what kind of lives that the UE have, he wanted peace for both sides, and end this pointless violence. So you would think this would be a good thing. He would essentially be like the protagonist from Turn Gundam. However, the way he goes about things is just so foolish. There are two opposing sides that hate each other a lot. You can't just say something like, let's get along and forget about fighting. I seriously can't believe Kyo did something as naive and foolish as that. There was a lot of bad blood between the humans and the UE. Do you really think just telling everyone to get along will have any impact? But that's just what he did for the show. And because he's the protagonist, everything worked out in the end in a very cliche and dumb way. It was so frustrating and annoying to watch, and really ruined my enjoyment of the show. The mastermind and antagonist of this anime series had a creative plan, but it was also one of the dumbest plans for creating long-lasting peace. I was conflicted because, on one hand, at least it wasn't as cliche as something as taking over the world. But on the other hand, it's like, how could he think this would create long-lasting peace? This is so dumb. There are main characters in this anime series, but I'm just going to talk about the three protagonists. Flit was a good character for his intense personality change throughout the series. In the beginning, he was upset about his mother's death. But it wasn't like his personality was that dark or he wanted revenge. But throughout the anime series, his personality became more and more twisted. 
that I couldn't help but be curious how his family would confront him on this aggressive approach against UE. Asimu starts off as this nice guy that wanted to make his father proud, but he had great character development throughout and created a legacy that was different from his father. Kyo, like I said earlier, was annoying. He just doesn't think logically at all, and it was just so frustrating to watch. This anime tried to make him seem like the reasonable person who wanted to bring peace to both sides. But instead, the anime actually made him out to be a really naive character, who was a pacifist in the worst possible way. He disobeyed almost every order he was given, and kept putting everyone in danger. I get disobeying one or two orders, but when he was doing it over and over again, you just wanted to see him locked up already. He even helps the enemy and gave them valuable information. You just want to scream at him. He makes you want to drop this anime series. The opening and ending songs for this anime series were alright. The music for the fight scenes wasn't that good. It didn't really make the fight scenes feel more intense. I don't like the animation style. It just made this anime series look too lighthearted. The animation looked good, especially when the Gundams were changing parts and weapons. Overall, this anime wasn't as bad as everyone said it was. It was just that third arc involving Kyo that was so frustrating to watch. The anime also didn't feel too rushed to me. I give this anime series a 6 out of 10. So that's all I'm going to talk about for this video. Thank you for watching the video. Have a great day night wherever you are. And please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And please comment if you found anything interesting in the video.